Do you think it is important to know the type of diabetes you have? Yes, it is. What medications to take, what to eat and how much to exercise, everything depends on the type of diabetes you have. Hi, I am Dr. Shravni, I am a general physician and diabetologist. In this video, let's learn more about the diabetes and its types. We all need energy, so we eat. Once we eat, the part of food we ate gets converted to sugar in the intestine and from there, blood which acts as a transport vehicle transports this glucose to all the parts of the body. Apart from the food we ate, we also get sugar from the liver which acts as a sugar factory which produces sugar from the protein or fat or glycogen. That's how the sugar levels are maintained in the blood all the time. Now we have the sugar in the blood which is ready to enter into the body parts. But this sugar can only enter into the body parts if you open the door with a key which is called insulin. Insulin opens the door so that the sugar will enter into the body parts and the body parts will get the energy. From where is this insulin produced from? Just like we have a sugar factory, we have a key factory called pancreas which produces insulin. So whenever the blood sugar levels increases, pancreas produces more and more amounts of insulin so that the sugar will enter into the body parts and we get energy. Unfortunately, this is not the case in diabetic patients. Essentially, we have two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. In type 1 diabetes, some of the key makers, that is the cells of the pancreas are attacked by the immune system and so enough insulin is not produced. So enough doors are not opened and the blood sugar cannot in enter into the body parts properly. So the blood levels of sugars increases. In type 2 diabetes, the scenario is different. In type 2 diabetics, enough insulin is produced by the cells of pancreas but there is a defect in this insulin. There is a defect in the key so the doors cannot be opened properly so the sugar levels in the body increases. Now we got to know that there are two types of diabetes. One is type 1 where the insulin production is not sufficient and type 2 where the in, at least in the initial stages the insulin production was normal but the function of the insulin is a defect too. We call it insulin resistance. To know more about the differences between type 1 and type 2, let's learn some more interesting facts about insulin. Insulin not only sends the sugar from blood into the body parts, but it also helps in protein that is the body building and fat deposition. In type 1 diabetics, because the insulin levels are low, they tend to be lean with low muscle mass and low fat deposition. When you treat them with insulin, they respond very well and the muscle mass and the fat deposition picks up and because they are very prone for ketosis, they tend to present at a very early age. On the other hand, people with type 2 diabetes tend to be overweight and obesity is one of the risk factors for insulin resistance. Also, type 2 diabetes is more common in older people and usually we see a positive family history in many cases. One more interesting fact is that about 90% of diabetic patients are type 2 diabetes. So you tend to come across more type 2 diabetics in your life than type 1. There are other types of diabetics in between called Modi Lada. If you want me to make a video on them, let me know in the comment section. I hope you got a clear idea about the different types of diabetes. In the next future videos, we'll discuss about the symptoms of diabetes and the lifestyle changes which you can follow like the diet, exercise, medications and many more things about diabetes management so that you can manage your diabetes better, prevent complications and lead a happy and healthier life. What is your diabetes type? Let me know in the comment section. Also type your queries in the comment section. I will address them in my next videos. Till then, be healthy and stay happy.